we are in Texas. Not a specific town in Texas, but we are at a big empty intersection where supposedly the last scene in Castaway was filmed. When Tom Hanks, who portrayed the FedEx guy who's playing crash and he ended up on a desert island and finally was rescued, this is the scene where he delivers the only package he kept intact. It's kind of a symbolic thing. So how does it feel to be in the middle of nowhere, Alethea? This is beautiful. This is, this is beautiful. I found two band stickers and Justin was here and a cross over there That's next right. to the giant wind turbines that were probably not here they at were the not. same time Tom Hanks was here. But I have now walked right. every intersection of this crosswords. So hopefully my feet have stepped where Tom Hanks' <laughs> feet have stepped. If this is actually the intersection, we could be reporting to you from an intersection just somewhere. Right. And you have to believe that this is the intersection. Yeah, so Atlas Obscura, someone reported Atlas Obscura, which we really like, great website, that this was the intersection. <laughs> Again, <laughs> the intersection. So, this is cool what movie. we do in the day in Texas where there are no clouds. That's right. All right, in homage to Wilson. Because there is no landmark here to mark this as Castaway's Crossroads, I'm going to create a Wilson. Here we are. Yeah. Give him some eyebrows. Just give him a mono brow. This is very Muppets. Wilson. He's smiling at you, yay. Yay, and then we'll write Wilson on the back. And I'm gonna leave it right over here. I like that, I like yeah. that. If you find this rock, you need to get in touch with us so we know about it. <laughs> All right. All right, Wilson. Voila, Wilson. And here we go. Here we are in Shamrock, Texas. We planned our whole day around visiting this and everything is closed. The cafe and the gift shop. We did take cool pictures here last night of the neon lit gas station from the old Route 66 days. Not actual neon anymore. <laughs> Supposedly a piece of the Blarney Stone just accidentally fell off and some wheeling and dealing occurred and it was imported here. Believe it or don't, it's a piece of rock. feeling a little crooked lately well this is the place to come <laughs> to feel straight and tall it is the Britain crooked water tower here in Groom Texas the leaning tower of Texas <laughs> my favorite part as a scientist I'm gonna put on yes. my scientist hat my favorite part is that there is water in this tower because if you fill it all the way up or if you empty it all the way it will not lean the way it does. It'll There's fall over. Exactly enough water in this so that the center of gravity, and if you see, there is uh, one of the feet is off the ground. Two, in fact. Nothing is supporting this. Right. Leaning. It is naturally leaning. You can't go touch it because I'm sure people would mess that up. <laughs> but that's that's my favorite part about this, this particular water tower. Yes, yeah, so the story is um, this guy basically bought this water tower from another town and put it in here like this to draw customers to his truck stop. And it worked! For many years. And then the truck stop burned down. However, there's still a funky sign, which I took a picture the of. The sign is amazing. With a little tiny water tower on the top. And yeah, people would come in and say, oh my god, your water tower is about to fall over, look out! And it's still here, attracting tourists and storm chasers who have no storms to chase. <laughs> because this is the theme of the trip, there's the water tower and a sun halo is attempting to form above our heads. Mm -hmm. 